Hello children. Now it's time to do the question answer of lesson number 2 population and dynamics. And I hope that you all are ready with your pen and book. Children, here I have ticked out question number A, all the question answers. All the choose, choose the correct options. Question number B, here I have filled all the fill-ups. Question number C, I have marked all the wrong statements and I have already corrected them. Now let us move to question number D. Its first question, its answer is on page number 13. Turn over the page. Number 13. Here its answer is marked. Overpopulation. Up to here. Any three countries name you need to write. And then underpopulation. Again it ends up to here. Then again any three names. Three examples for underpopulation. Underpopulated countries. Next question is what are the causes of overpopulation? Again its answer is on the same page. On page number 13, impact of overpopulation. Here the major causes of overpopulation are up to here, medical facilities. Next question, how do government policies and political situation influence the population of a place? Its answer is on page number 15. Here, its answer is under government policy, full whole point you need to explain. Next question, number four. What do you mean by growth of population? What are the two causes, uh, two components? Again, its answer is on the same page. <clears throat> Under the heading, growth of population. First paragraph. First part is up to here. And its second part is from Two points are there, two reasons are, two causes are there, two components are there, natural growth and migration. Let us move to next question. Question number five, distinguish between birth rate and death rate. Again, it is on the same page. Here, you can see D5. Birth rate and death rate. Let us move to question number 6. What is the difference between emigration and immigration? How do they influence the size of population? Again on the same page its answer is here it is given. Immigration and Emigration is here and immigration is here. Then it's a second part. How do they influence the size of population? Here it is given 
it results in an in the number of population population also increase increases when the number of people migrate into country exceeds the number of people migrating out of it second part question number d6 its second part now question number 7 what do you mean by working population its answer is on page number 16 children here you need to write from question itself you will write the working population means the age group which is between 15 years to 64 years they are called working or the productive population define the term sex ratio its answer is again on the same page 16 here it is given under sex ratio top uh, heading its answer is from here to up to here here the example of india is also i have included 1000 males now let us move to the next section question number e answer these questions in 50 to 60 words first why why are industrial areas and large cities densely populated its answer is on page number 14 and 15 here it is given the last point of this page full point you will write here now move to the next page here under urbanization the second part is given here full full paragraph this full point now let us move to next question describe the type of population pyramid in kenya children you need to describe this population pyramid here you can see that its bottom is broad means birth rate is higher but as the age increases the shape of the pyramid goes on tapering or very narrow means here the death rate is very high means as the age increases either of male or female for both of them the death rate is very high because the top part of this pyramid is tapering so you need you have to uh, write this answer in your own word next question compare the developed and developing nation on the basis of growth rate of population again on page number 15 here this full paragraph you need to write here the developed and underdeveloped nations both examples are given and why it is so this is also explained here now let us move to next question question number 4 what does a population pyramid show what does its shape indicate its answer is on page number 17 and again children this is another very long question answer under population pyramid you need to write this paragraph for the first part of the question and for the second part of question again you will begin with the second paragraph up to the second last line up to here so these are important questions so you need to learn them you have you need to by heart them 
now let us move to f part answer these questions in 75 to 100 words mention the densely populated and the sparsely populated regions of the world and give reasons for the same its answer is on page number 12 and here children under densely populated region first paragraph again you will write the heading you will underline it and again after that underlining you need to write the full paragraph with example here you can listen what only any three country uh, sorry all the names you need to write here now is partially populated here again it is divided into three categories you need to write full after writing the heading underlining it and you need to write it in points next question 2 number 2 f2 overpopulation has a serious socio economic impact its answer is on page number 13 so here its answer starts it starts from the heading impact of overpopulation from the second line overpopulation has serious from here and you need to write all the points f explain the advantages and disadvantages of underpopulation again its answer is on the same page underpopulation its answer is impact of underpopulation from here you will start the biggest disadvantage it is in one line but its advantages are in four points so up to page number 14 up to last point you need to write then let us move to the next question describe the physical factors that affect the distribution of population its answer is on page number 14 and here several points are given you need to write and explain all these points six points are there children and you need to write all the six points with explanation now let us move to the last part g why do you think so deccan plateau in india is a moderately populated region its answer is again on page number 12 and its answer is given under moderately populated region here from question you will write is begin the answer and then you will continue from here there has been improvement up to the end of the paragraph next question is plains and coastal areas are densely populated again over to page number 12 its answer is under densely populated region from here again you will begin from uh, your question for your answer and then you will continue with uh, up to here from here to here now question number 4 people tend to migrate from rural to urban areas its answer is on page number 16 here it is given
a large number of people up to end of the paragraph from here to here now let us move to the last question of this chapter knowledge of the age composition of a country is essential for government its answer is on page number 16 you need to write the from question itself you will begin that knowledge of the age composition of country is essential for the government uh, so that it can know the number of children to provide them with nutrition and educational facility and if the government knows the number of uh, aged people then only government can provide health care and the security so i hope all the question answers are clear to you children and you need to write with beautiful handwriting in your notebook thank you children and have a nice day